CNC West, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the brand new color swatches provided by one CNC XR3. Now you can see that within XR3, there's two color swatches. If we take a look at an older version of one CNC, like XR2, you can see there's just one color swatch down there. Let's go back to XR3 now. Now, both of these color swatches have different functions. The color swatch on the left, that's controlling the color of your 2D geometry. In other words, your points, lines, and arcs. Okay, the color swatch on the right, that's for your surfaces and for your solid models. Let me demonstrate this. I'm going to select the line tool and I'm just going to quickly sketch a couple of lines here. Let's make an angled line and how about a horizontal and a vertical maybe. Alright, now you can see that the 2D geometry is using the color swatch on the left. So that's your wireframe color. Now if we were to come up here and create a surface for example, we'll use the circular plane and I'm just going to sketch the location for that. You can also see that that is using the right hand colored swatch. Same applies to solid models. Let's head up here to solids and why don't we create a sphere and I'll just sketch the location of this as well. Okay? Now you'll also notice that in the lower left hand corner there's a couple of little squares. Let me show you what that does. Let's say we change the color. I'm going to change the color to maybe a green here. Go back up to our line tool and we start sketching away and you can see everything's working as normal here. It's using that different color. Now if I want to quickly go back to my original default color which was blue, all I have to do is just take my cursor and left click that little square. And so that's what the little square does is it quickly takes you back to the default color. It works exactly the same way with your solids and surfaces. If I were to change the color here and why don't we create another solid model and same thing we'll just sketch real quick we've got a, a yellow sphere there if I quickly come back and just click that little square in the lower left hand corner that gives me back my default color now the default colors are set up under here under file and then properties and if you head over here to colors you'll see that in the upper right hand corner you've got your default colors the active start color is for your wireframe geometry and the model color is for your solids and surfaces Hey, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.